There are so many possibilities here for challenging the process. Why not take control of the process, admit to no errors if that bothers us, but do the right thing and do it in a way that we all can respect and public can get behind. Mr. Harmon, one correction director has ever said is we've got a serious chance of losing this lawsuit. Commissioner Pinkston, you still have the floor. Yes. Well, you know, I'm a, I voted to uphold the charter, too. And I don't feel like that anybody up here violated the charter. Section E, it says, of the charter says, in all proceedings of the commission, to either elect officers of the commission or to fill vacancies in elective offices, the following procedure shall be followed. Nominations may be made by members of the commission only. And I feel like we've done that. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, Commissioner Luke Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Once again, I'd just like to disclose I do work for the Knox County Trustees Office. <laughs> we're getting to know where you work. Uh, Commissioner Hammond. Um, I'd just like to disclose that I know I'm supposed to disclose if I need to disclose. Um, <laughs> the, um, the open meetings law, in order for us to do a redo, there must be evidence that the law was broken. Now, it's my understanding, Mr. Law Director, that unless someone from this body voluntarily says, I broke the law, or unless there is evidence to show that the law was broken as it stands right now, there is no reason to redo this. Is that correct? It would be evidence from the body as it existed on January 31 at 9 a.m. That's right. There are eight commissioners here who... That statement would not govern, basically. Have you heard from any of those eight? Have they said, I violated the Sunshine Law? Um, I have not talked with every commissioner, um, and I have not heard anyone make such an admission. I guess my point is this, is in order for us to do a redo, that has to take place, in my opinion. There must be evidence. There has to be concrete evidence that indeed the law was broken and that the Sunshine Law was violated. Now, a judge can make that determination. I don't know that we as individuals can make that determination. I, I, Unless someone stands up and says, yes, I did. I think this body um, um, can make that determination, basically. Um, each, each individual commissioner may make it um, themselves and vote on whether to have a redo. I don't think you have to have a judicial determination in order that there be a redo. My sense is there are not ten votes on this commission to do that, and so I guess we're looking at the, uh, the legal process. But let me ask you, where are we now in the legal process with this lawsuit that the Sentinel, and I guess the one that Mr. Monsier has brought against us? Um, where we are now is we're in the process of, of reviewing the complaint and drafting responses to the complaint. Now that can include any number of things, including an answer, motions to dismiss, motions for summary judgment. Um, and what I see, what's on the table right now is what I see as a counteroffer. Basically that's what uh, Commissioner Harmon, I believe, has proposed as a counteroffer. Um, that's why I felt compelled to bring the new Sentinel's uh, attorney's letter to the attention of the commission at committee meetings was so that you can consider it and either today or at some future date um, either agree with it if that is this body's wish or you can make a counter offer or you could do nothing. Um, we are in the process of defending the lawsuit um, and if, if this body decides to make a counter offer of, of some sort, then it's, it's welcome to do so, and I will carry that back to the uh, new Sentinel's attorney. But in addition to this lawsuit, we also have another that was um, filed by a local attorney um, for a number of citizens, and there are eight commissioners on this body that are sued personally in that lawsuit, and they are each in the process of obtaining private counsel to litigate that matter. In addition, Knox County is there, and I will be there representing Knox County. That lawsuit is, um, is uh, the deadlines in that lawsuit are approaching more quickly than the lawsuit that uh, is being discussed today. I believe the 30 days from service for most 
of the defendants in that case runs this Friday. So uh, answers or motions um, will need to be filed by the end of this week in that case. In this case, we've got another week or so. So I want to get on the record again. Have you advised us what Mr. Moore had said earlier that – what was it again, Mr. Moore, that Mr. Harmon I, – I, I need to ask Mr. Harmon. Mr. Harmon, what was your, your statement about the law director and what he had advised us? Well, uh, he may have, have not have ever used the words that we're likely to lose, but I think he gave us a good outline of what would happen if we were to lose, and that was a rather daunting prospect. Are we likely to lose, in your opinion, at this point? I um, do not um, basically um, give advice or wager on whether we win or lose. Um, I basically defend the facts as I receive them. And uh, we're in the process of doing that. But, uh, but I, have, uh, I don't have a crystal ball, and so I can't advise this commission whether we will win or lose. Well, John's, there's no, there's John's no, never lost. Yeah. There's, uh, there's no question that when you look at case law, violations of the Sunshine Law, the remedy is for a redo, and there are many instances where that indeed has happened across the state. So, yes, this is to be taken seriously. Violation of the Sunshine Law is a serious matter. However, I would again point out there must be evidence that indeed the Sunshine Law was violated. Unless this commission votes to do a redo, or unless someone stands up and says, I violated the law, or it is found through discovery or through a deposition or through a court hearing, a judge could force a redo. And let me ask you one final question. Would all 12 instances be determined? I mean, it could be determined that all 12 might need to do a redo if a judge were to do that, but could a judge also say, no, I think everything was okay in one, two, three, four. You have a problem with five and six, so it's possible not all 12 would need to have a redo. Is that correct? That's right, um, and th that's the way I see it, and that's the way I interpret the law. You know, basically, with a redo, um, that is a cure for whatever action occurred at a previous meeting um, that may have occurred in violation of the Sunshine Law. And if you, if you had one matter, for instance, one ordinance, and we're about to vote on a couple of ordinances, but if you had one ordinance at a previous meeting that um, someone complained that there was a violation of the Sunshine Law, then at the next month's meeting, at a succeeding meeting, you could have a redo, basically. You could approve or reject that item again, and that would cure any potential defect that was that had occurred or allegedly had occurred at a previous meeting. You would not have to redo the entire meeting. It would only be as to that one item. Thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, Commissioner Kate. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, let me Mr. Law Director, let me let me maybe make another suggestion. I think what you point out is correct that this is kind of a counter offer, Commissioner Harmon. Um, I'm not necessarily ready to go with this today, but I think we should make some type of counter offer. I don't know how we get to that. Maybe you can work with the chairman or individual commissioners and come up with some ideas. And, and maybe, I, I mean, I would like to make a counter offer. Uh, I'm not willing to agree to everything the new Sentinel wants. However, I am willing to try to move forward and, and, and settle this some way if we can, if it's reasonable. Let me, let me, let me say this to that. Um, Commissioner Harmon just, just basically suggested that um, he would be uncomfortable in, I believe, in, a, in approving of a redo where there's been no clear violation of the Act, um, at least no evidence of that was violation. Commissioner Hammond. I mean, I mean, Commissioner Hammond. Um, what about the prospect? Uh, and, and you know, this is a counter offer, and whoever we can, would uh, would vote on today, whatever you would vote on, would be a counter offer. What about a counter offer that stops short of a redo? Um, would I mean, I would just suggest that as as I don't know if that would be acceptable to the plaintiff, um, but perhaps some remedy short of a redo um, might be considered I mean, it's certainly worth a thought and I would think it, it would be worth an attempt um, but it could be it could be done today it could be done at the next meeting or or whenever okay Commissioner Ivan Harmon this is for the law director what is the worst scenario that would happen if, if we lost the lawsuit what are they asking us to do 